Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have a weekend project that is to convert my Nomad to a modern LCD. This is an RGB type LCD. It's not the cheap LCD that uses the composite video, so it will have much better quality. For this modification, I will need to have these capacitors and this small mountain board. These capacitors are required to process the signal from the Nomad going to the LCD driver and as you can see here this bezel is a 3D printed one I'll post a link to that in the video description below there are two 3D printed parts the bezel itself and two clips you can see the clips here another one here everything is held in place nicely that's the LCD Also, I have the V3 Pro Mega Drive EverDrive system from AliExpress, and we will try that out after the modification of the LCD. Well, let's play Captain America and the Avengers on the Nomad. I haven't looked at the artwork of this cartridge for a while. Look at that, Captain America and the Avengers, and I think this is the Ghost Rider. It's pretty interesting. At the back, more artwork with this barber thing like the comics. And that's the cartridge. Let me put it into the Nomad. There we go. Yep. The Avengers. You can see the brightness around the parameter. That's the thing with these old LCDs. The screen is not as blur as the Game Gears, but it's definitely not as good as modern LCDs. Let me zoom in and show you the detail. Yeah, that's pretty much the kind of quality we have with the original Nomad. Alright, let's get cracking. Well, to open up the Nomad, you need to remove four Phillips screws with a Phillips screwdriver. However, the screw here is special. You are required to use this Torx screwdriver. The problem with my Torx screwdriver is it's not able to fit in entirely. See, it goes in halfway and it's stuck. I had no choice but to use this one here. It has a different pattern as you can see, but it works well. Let me show you. This is the screw head and still the sufficient grip so luckily i've got this one and the set cost two dollars from daiso japan store once the nomad is open the first thing i'm going to do is to pull out this ribbon cable then i'm going to remove a few clips this clip this clip this one and this one here now the next step is to remove all the screws that are holding the main board down except for this screw here which is holding this little board which we do not need to remove. I've already unscrew them so now I can remove all the screws by hand. Alright that's done and we can then lift up the main board and at the same time keep this red plastic so that we do not lose it alright we have the main board out of the case and the other side is the LCD which we no longer need I'm going to open it up this way 
and cut the ribbon. At this stage, we have the PCB from Mobile Strip Technologies soldered to the LCD driver board via the five pins here. I'll post a link in the video description on where to purchase this PCB board. Next, we'll go ahead and grab a pair of PCC and ground wires, 14 cm long, and four wires, red, green, blue, and yellow, 13 cm long. The RGB and the cyan are color coded here and we'll solder them here and the red and black will be soldered to these points here now let's assemble everything in the 3D printed bezel let's put on these two clips flip the driver board and let it settle into the recession and then we'll install the LCD should flush nicely we could lift up this latch to install the ribbon and then we lock it in place before installing the LCD onto the main board it's a good idea to insulate these components here with captain tape to prevent them from shorting against the components here Alright, I have mounted the LCD with these four screws. Now it's secured pretty well. Alright, that's done. Alright, these are the connections. Close up, we have the RGB and the C sync. And on the other side, we have the BCC and ground. We have installed the main board back into the case via the three screws. And do remember to remove the protective sticker from the LCD first, otherwise you will not be able to do it. Also, after you have screwed all the three screws, you will not be able to put back this red plastic. Put the clips back on and reattach the ribbon cable from the other half. And now we can put the back case on and then see if it works. Alright, here's the moment of truth. Wow. Look at that. Well, the screen upgrade definitely makes the Nomad a lot more playable now. I do not have to hold it at a weird angle to play the game and basically the screen looks clear from all sides. Let's try a modern game, one that's not made in the past but recently. Here I have the FS Unit Yuki from Pixel Heart.
let's test the Mega Drive V3 Pro from AliExpress. It comes with an SD card, so you don't need to buy one. Oh look, there are ROMs here. There are Genesis MD for Mega Drive, I suppose. The different versions of the MD or Mega Drive folders. And interestingly, there are a few ROMs which are in the root directory. Let's try this one here, Gunstar Heroes. Load and start. Alright, now it's erasing and it's trying to load the file right now. Oh, it looks like it's working. And that didn't take very long. Alright, let's try another folder. How about this MDD? Oh, lots of ROMs here. Double Dragon 3, Elemental Master, Fire Shark, I like that. Let's outrun. Let's try Raiden. I think it's a vertical shooting plane game. Let's try that. This is taking awfully long to load. Alright, we have the first fail. Okay, so Raiden doesn't work on this EverDrive. Not sure why. Alright, let's try another game. Let's try something else. Looking for Art of Fighting. It's not here. Maybe it's under the Mega Drive. Art fight. Art of fighting. Okay, here we go. Art of fighting. Erasing again and like load the game. Our oh, Raiden took quite a while to erase. And it wasn't even working. Out of fighting, and it works. I love that game. Out of fighting, it brings back memories. So what do I think about this Mega Drive V3 Pro? Well, I'm not surprised that some of the ROMs do not work. But for the price, I think it's okay. I'll be able to play most of the ROMs. 
It's a pity that Raiden didn't work. But uh, I believe most of the mainstream Mega Drive or Genesis games should work fine. And I'm really pleased with the RGB LCD modification. It makes the Nomad really a lot more playable. The graphics are clear and you can view it from different angles. And like Gunstar Heroes, I couldn't make out the projectiles in the background. And with this screen, I'm able to see them clearly. So yeah, I would highly recommend you to modify your screen, change it to this RGB LCD screen if you have the chance. It's much better than the composite video LCD. Alright, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for staying till this part of the video. And I'll see you in the next one.